So why is that not being honored? Why are you having to protest here again and again and again? And it's nine months of a civil war. A civil war. What are the governments, the administration and every single person responsible to ensure that the country stays lawful? That the people's right to life, liberty, education, freedom and every single thing which is documented in our constitution is honored. What are they doing? My friend, the lawyer also spoke that the CBI, the NIA cannot take action until unless some complaint is sent to them. Well, I want to inform all of you and my lawyer friend that starting in September, I had written to the CBI, the NIA. This is the first letter I wrote to the CBI. This was sent to the Ministry of Home Affairs. It was sent to the Ministry of Defense. It was sent to the National Investigation Agency. It was sent to the Central Bureau of Investigation. It was sent to the Chief Minister of Delhi. It was sent to the Chief Minister of Manipur. Again in December, I wrote a letter to the National Investigation Agency. Now all this is work which is besides the petition in the Supreme Court of India. And civilian like me had to approach the Supreme Court of India, file an intervention application to make sure that the arms loot, which had become like a Hindi word called arm loot, koi bhi ja ke ja ke gun surale. is it a joke that one can steal so many thousands of guns and thousands of bombs and lakhs of bullets in this country? No! No! So in this letter in December, I asked the National Investigation Agency and I also marked every single other person responsible. Who are those people I asked these questions to? I wrote also marked this copy to the Honorable President of India. I marked this letter to the General of Indian Army, General Manoj Pandey. I mark this letter also to the Chief Justice of India, again to the Central Bureau of Investigation. I mark this letter to Mr. Ajit Dawal, who is the National Security Advisor. And I mark this letter to the Gita Mittal Committee formed by the Supreme Court. I asked in my letter, it's a long letter, but my basic questions are that when Ms. Mahua Mohitra was expelled from the Parliament on the basis of threat to national security, then who will expel all those who have caused the gravest threat to national security? Yes! Who will expel this government? Who will expel all those in the positions of power who are supposed to ensure that a gravest threat to national security does not occur? I ask them very clearly. Today, you have let loot of bullets and bombs and guns what will be next will it be tanks and missiles and nuclear weapons yes! Yes! will india be allowed to become a rogue terrorist state under the watch of agencies yes! today all this loot of arms and ammunition has become a threat to global security because as per reports these arms are being exported out of India and can be used anywhere. Why are administration agencies not worried? Why does the CBI go and raid a harsh mandar but they are not raiding those responsible for the gravest threat to national security? Why will the NIA go make other raids which look like they are politically motivated but still the perpetrators of the biggest loot in the history of independent India still roam free? Yes! Yes! Why is Manipur being thrusted back into militancy? 
Why do reports come that Manipur may suffer for the next 20, 30 years because of a revival of militancy? Where are the agencies is my question to the NIA and to the CBI, to the Home Ministry. A few days back, I wrote another letter to the Minister for Parliamentary Affairs, Mr. Pralhad Joshi, asking that when the Parliament of India can take immediate action on those people who caused a threat by breaching the parliament security, which also is quite surprising that the new parliament, some people were just able to enter the new parliament and cause a security threat when those people have been imposed with UAPA, then why not those responsible for the gravest threat to the country? Despite Supreme Court orders, in August itself, after my intervention application was filed, the Honorable Apex Court directed the committee and the special officer appointed, Mr. Datta Tre Patsalgikar, that you should register FIRs under all the stringent sections of the, gov of the IPC, of the Arms Act and Anti-Terrorism Act. Where are those people? Why do those people still roam around free? Why is every single individual who was responsible to safeguard the weapons, to safeguard the lives and to safeguard the state of Manipur and to safeguard the nation, why are they not in jail already?